Good morning and hello. Most of us have probably survived the frigid weathers of last week. Here in New York, it's uh, been a rather mild week, certainly in comparison to the frigid temperatures of uh, last week. It's gotten me to thinking about contrast. You know, we had uh, in one day, I think we had something like a 50 degree temperature drop going from, you know, warmth to uh, absolute frigid temperatures. And um, I know in last week's video, I talked to you about a reframe of the concept of managing change and thinking about how we can just make incremental changes um, and live our lives um, much more with much greater satisfaction. Let me put it that way. So I'm thinking of contrast um, this week and um, I was listening to a video and the person was talking about uh, yin and uh, yang and um, you know that in if you think about that symbol and that's the uh, I guess a symbol of male and female and in each circle there is a dot of the other and uh, which allows us to recognize that we always have part of the other inside of us and um, when you think about contrast I'm thinking about how can we um, be more effective in our communications by acknowledging what was, what is, and what we want to create. And having the patience to recognize that there is a lot that we carry from our ancestors and from our experiences into every um, moment of our lives. So it's really kind of interesting to me, this, this idea or concept of contrast. So I'd like to invite you uh, this weekend to think a little bit about some of the contrasts. There was an article in the um, New York Times earlier this week about hummingbirds. And we often think of hummingbirds as um, beautiful, fragile objects. And these, this researcher has found that hummingbirds really are warriors. And you never think of a hummingbird as a warrior. So as we look at that contrast, I'm asking each of us to um, think about contrasts in our own life. This is Rosemary Bova. And this is TGI Rosie, my weekly video blog. And it's intended to give you something to ponder about in your general life or in your managerial life, your work life. I hope I've done that today and I wish you a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye.